who will shape the future of India, including the future of Nagaland. We have to create conditions where their creative and entrepreneurial potential is unleashed to the optimum. Brothers and sisters, you all will be happy to note that Nagaland state is going to get its first medical college. Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has sanctioned rupees 300 crores for this purpose. Yanishi has also funded setting of a Northeast Regional Multidisciplinary Paramedical Institute, Dimapur, at a cost of rupees 4,981.31 lakhs. Besides, over the years, Government of India has executed a large number of other projects in Nagaland, leading her to the path of faster and all-round development. While we must celebrate the past and the horrible, we should also celebrate the present and the future with several festivals of skills and creativity of our youth. Nagaland is geographically located at a vantage point. It is a gateway to the Southeast Asia. Northeast is the pivot of our government's Act East policy. Today, we are at the best of relations with our neighbor Myanmar on the bedrock of our shared cultural and civilizational linkages with Myanmar. We have also a large spectrum of shared interests. Government of India is determined to build and improve our connectivity and engagement with Southeast Asia. Today, India and ASEAN are partners in growth. The story of this growth will be written by our youth of the Northeast region. Brothers and sisters, our government has opened a bright new chapter in the growth story of Northeast region. It is heartening to know that development of a four-lane road, the main artery from Dimapur to the state capital Kohima, which was promised by the then Prime Minister Sri Atal Bihari Bhatpei, is in full swing and it will be completed soon. With the remarkable restoration of peace, North East is emerging as a favoured destination of business and tourists. I am happy to know that the police and the tourism department of Nagaland government have started the tourist police. I am sure it will lift Nagaland to another level where visitors from outside will go back with a lot of happy stories of the state and their region. For the last few years, India is making faster progress in all socio-economic sectors and the country has emerged as the fastest growing major economy in the world, with the current ranking being sixth. We are expected to be one of the top three economic powers of the world in the next 10 to 15 years. India has recently overtaken the economy of France and is soon expecting to exceed the GDP of United Kingdom. Government of India has taken various initiatives to further accelerate the economic growth. Steps are also being taken for the speeding development of North East region, including Nagaland. We believe that nation can prosper only when all the states develop at a faster pace. Brothers and sisters, Nagaland has suffered for a long time. On the 56th anniversary of the state, I call upon all my friends of this, this state to take long strides for the rapid economic growth of the country as well as that of Nagaland and make all of us proud Indians to be contributors in making India a world power. Brothers and sisters, as we celebrate Christmas in a few weeks and march on to the new year 2019, I wish it, I wish it brings lasting peace as well as an opportunity to let the past behind and look forward for a brighter future that would, that would help 
all young Naga boys and girls to realize their aspirations of a better life. I am happy to inaugurate this festival and would like to congratulate the state government, the people of Nagaland and those artists who will perform in the 10 days long chain of events. My best wishes to all. Yan Pede. Thank you very much. The most enduring and pervasive export from the United States of America to the hills of Nagland is Christianity brought by American missionaries. Today, the presence of our guest of honor is a sign of continued goodwill and friendship. We now give time to the Ambassador of the United States of America to India to bring his greetings. Good evening, and thank you for your warm welcome to Kissima Village. I would like to thank Chief Minister Rio for inviting me to be part of this very special event. And I am delighted to be here with Governor Acharya, Supreme Court Justice, Justice Bhakti, and former Chief Minister and former Governor Jameer, and other dignitaries who are on the stage this evening. This is my first visit to Nagaland, and I have been told that the best way to truly get to know this beautiful state is by experiencing your unique cultures and traditions as exemplified by your renowned festivals. It is therefore a very special treat to be here at the Hornbill Festival and witness firsthand the rich heritage of Nagaland. I have already been impressed by the colorful array of Naga costumes, and I look forward to your dances and rituals. It is easy to understand why this festival attracts so many guests from throughout the region and around the world. I look forward to seeing more of Naga cultures and traditions as the afternoon and evening proceed. Sharing culture is an important aspect of the U.S.-India partnership. An example of note is the story of the prominent Naga musician, Teja Meru, who visited the United States in 2010 as part of the U.S. State Department's International Visitor Leadership Exchange Program. On Mr. Meru's visit, he met a married couple who are professors in New York State. The professors were so pleased by this meeting and intrigued by Naga music and cultural traditions that they subsequently came to India with the specific intent of visiting Nagaland and coming here to the Hornbill Festival. Upon their visit, they not only attended the festival, but also made arrangements to feature an art exhibit and a film screening that would show side by side the works of emerging New York and Naga filmmakers. This story is but one illustration of the importance of the Hornbill Festival as a venue for cultural exchange. It also highlights the impressive and important depth of the people-to-people -people ties between the United States and India, including Nagaland. Whether forming organically at venues such as the Hornbill Festival, 
or through formal partnerships such as the Ambassadors Fund for Cultural Preservation, which supports cultural preservation throughout India and in over 100 countries. We hope to continue building the cultural ties between the United States and Nagaland. Again, it is a true pleasure to be here to experience the Hornbill Festival with all of you today. Thank you so much for such a warm welcome on my first visit to Nagaland. Thank you. Nagaland embodies a unique blend of modernity and tradition. As the people of Nagaland strive for a better future, we draw strength from our rich cultural heritage. To call upon traditional blessings, we now give time to Shikudo Jalipu, village chief.
Sri Nipu Ryo, the Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland, has played an instrumental role in the inception of the Hornbill Festival, as well as rise into the mega international cultural event it has become today. We now give time to the beloved leader of the people of Nagaland and the host of the 19th Hornbill Festival 2018 to deliver the vote of thanks. A very good evening to all of you. As the host, it is my pleasant duty to propose the vote of thanks of the 19th edition of Hornville Festival. I take this opportunity to extend my heartiest gratitude and thanks to the Honorable Union Minister Home, Sri Rathnath Singhji, for having agreed to our request for gracing a Hornbill Festival in spite of his busy schedule. So it is indeed an honor and privilege for us to host you. Your help and support to Nagaland and is vital as we look forward to final settlement of Indo-Naga political issue under the dynamic leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister Modi Ji, for which the negotiations, I believe, are in advanced stage. We are enthused by your words of encouragement today and assures you that people of the state are with you for the overall growth and development of our great nation. Your presence today at the launch of the 19th Hornbill Festival, the festival of festivals in the state of Nagaland has added the charms of the celebration as we are truly honored and grateful for your august presence among us today. I also thank to the U.S. Ambassador Mr. Kenneth Juster and his team of officials for joining us in this Hornbill Festival. I hope that the friendship will over the years will be further strengthened. I stand a warm welcome to our friend Reverend Bert Nile, member of Legislative Council, Opera House Australia, and his lady wife. I also thank Honorable Justice Sharad Arvind Bobde and Honorable Justice A.S. Bopana with all their colleagues, judges. It's indeed an honor for us to have all of you among us today. I also welcome and thanks all our guests and tourists from all over the country and all over the world and hope that you enjoy the best of Nagaland in the following days. I want to extend my gratefulness to Honorable Governor, the Chief Host, and Dr. S.C. Jamir, former Chief Minister and Governor, for being an excellent host. Over the last 19 years, the Hornbill Festival has become one of the most important tourism events, not only in India, but also worldwide. It is acclaimed as one of the best events for showcasing rich Naga culture and tradition, preserved over the years in the form of music, dance, food, and culture. This unique event is a blend of tradition, modernity, a Hornbill Festival at Kisama and the International Music Festival being held in Dimapur this year shows the diversity of the Naga society. The festival provides a platform to showcase the unique culture of the Nagas in its full glory. 
It also portrays the love and determination of the Naga people for preserving tradition and culture, which is the hallmark of our identity. We also see participation, not only of the Naga tribes, but also from the neighboring states and beyond, symbolizing the strength of our nation, the feeling of unity and diversity. In short, in short while from now, you will be witnessing it in the annual program. Tourism has a potential to be a mainstay of our economy, and after my government was sworn in on the 8th March 2018, as mentioned, Mini Hornbill Festival was introduced in the state to be celebrated throughout the year, coinciding with various travel festivals in the respective district with a view to promote eco-tourism, sustainable tourism across the state. Since time in memorial, Nagas have had oral tradition, but now the honors is up to us, our historians, our thinkers and writers, and our tribal bodies to document our history. It is up to us to work unitedly to promote our traditional practices, attires, adornments, cuisines, songs and dance, arts, handloom and handicrafts, and most importantly, our folklore, so that our visiting friends can take back memorably and souvenirs with them. I would also like to take this opportunity to mention that we are implementing several innovations and innovative concepts and ideas to promote tourism in the state. Besides many Hornbill Festival, we will also organize the Zuku Valley Festival in Kohima, our Falcon Conservation Week and Festival at Woka in uh, Uthand. Oka and the People Festival at Kezagendo Peg. We are also showcasing our organic fruits, vegetables, flowers, medicinal plants and herbs in the Horty Scap that is organized as part of the Horn Build. I extend my sincere appreciation to the Department of Tourism, the people of Nagaland, all our tourist friends and all the stakeholders for their respective participation every year which give festival its essence and vibrancy. This year's festival will also be plastic free and I'm also happy to mention that we have banned single-use plastic in the state with effect from today. I hope everybody will cooperate. As the Christmas season is approaching, I also take this opportunity to wish you all an advance Merry Christmas and a happy, glorious New Year. I hope you all have an enjoyable time during this Hornbill Festival and that you will return to this land of festival in years to come. I once again thank you for coming and, well, and, and I hope you will enjoy yourself in this land of festivals. Thank you and God bless. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the formal inaugural function. The Department of Tourism, in collaboration with Rattle and Hum Music Society Nagaland, proudly present Naturally Nagaland.
in sync with each other, diverse and yet distinct. Who are we? We are a people. We are a collective. 
We are Naga. From across the generations, a sound is heard, a haunting, simple, musical note that reverberates around the village-dotted Naga Hills. Hills that have seen the remarkable transitioning of a peoples from darkness to light. A peoples who have let the music live on and brought it to you today, telling us all a story of God's beautiful creation. This song of praise is titled Together, a fine folk ensemble performed to the accompaniment of an indigenous musical instrument, the Tati.
festival, Festival of Festivals, has for the past 19 years been a compelling reason to bring the Naga people together. What we just heard from this harmonious, all-female quartet was the extolling of the virtues of the Nagas coming together. And as with the beauty of the occasion shared together and with the world, it is also a call for us to live equally beautiful, blessed lives. Amidst a land adorned with rich natural beauty that can be described as nothing less than enchanting, the handsome sons and beautiful daughters of the land come out to sing, celebrating life and dance to the insistent beat of the drums. Making the entry is the Ziliang dance troupe.
nation for the first time, Hornbill Festival 2018 is proud to present the Hornbill Guest Act in the opening ceremony. This year from the wondrous land of Sikkim, the troop from Cultural Affairs and Heritage Department, Government of Sikkim, is here to perform a famous dance centering around the Kang Sing Karpo or the White Snow Lion. This mythical lion is the guardian deity of the people of Sikkim and also its state symbol. This dance symbolizes well-being and peace. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our friends from Sikkim here to perform the famed Singhi Kam dance.
that was absolutely captivating. We have seen now recreated the songs and dances from days of old. And now the Nagas are moving in tandem with the rest of the world, fusing the old with the new in an unbroken transition of culture. Presenting the ethnic future of Nagaland, here is the Naga fusion dance troupe. Mother is love. Mother is life. Mother is harmony. Mother is earth. Thank you. 
that there's always tomorrow. Lean on me when you're that strong, and I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on, for it won't be long till I'm gonna need somebody to lean on. Call on me, brother. When you need a hand, we all need, need somebody to lean on. I just might have a problem that you'll understand. We all need somebody to lean on. Call me, call me. Call me.
for music and we have just had another taste of the energy and incredible talent of our youth. Through this unique choral piece there has been a cultural embrace where tunes of yesteryears and today have blended beautifully and created an appeal for all audiences. We now have the finale song, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome the very vibrant, the very powerful voices of history from Mystical Mall.
Just getting started. Stay on to hear another fabulous round of songs from the Method Band. Stay on for the next nine days and be a part of an unforgettable experience that is the Nagaland Hornbill Festival. Can I hear a yay?
I really hope you have to. Right? Do you guys have fun? Oh, yeah.